less than 4 inequalities with x in the denominator number 3. We have to solve the inequality, the absolute value of x plus 2 is greater than the square root of 6 plus x minus x squared. Now to do this, we have to note that the absolute value of a number is equal to the square root of that number squared. So now I'll replace this with the square root of x plus 2 all squared is greater than the square root of 6 plus x minus x squared. Now squaring both sides we get x plus 2 all squared is greater than 6 plus x minus x squared. Removing the brackets x squared plus 4x plus 4 is greater than 6 plus x minus x squared. Transposing these terms we get 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 is greater than 0. And factorising 2x here and an x there. And now we'll have here a plus 1 and a minus 2. Just taking, checking that. No, wrong way around. Should be a plus 2 here and a minus 1 there. So it's always important to check these. Now just do a double check again. Minus x, 4x, yep, that's right now. So now we'll let y equal this 2x minus 1, x plus 2. And now we'll get here a minus 2 and a half. Draw our little positive parabola and we'll see it's going to be positive here and here. So our solution is that x is less than minus 2 or x is greater than a half. We haven't quite arrived yet because we've got an added problem. We've got this, this square root because this, this has to be positive underneath the square root sign. So we know that 6 plus x minus x squared has got to be greater than 0. That is, x squared minus x minus 6 has to be less than 0 or less than equal to actually. Watch that equal sign. Factorising that. I get x minus 3, x plus 2 is less than or equal to 0. Now, again, we'll do a little let y here. So we'll let y equal this x minus 3, x plus 2. Another little parabola intercepts at minus 2 and 3. OK, going this way. And we'll see that this is a negative, negative here. So this means that x must lie between, or lie equal to, these ones. Right, so now we have to set this up that we've got the first one right, was between, sorry, greater than a half rather this way and the other one was less than minus 2. The restriction was that this went between minus 2 equal to and up here 3 all the way up to there. Right, so we can see we're imposing that restriction on this. So the solutions are that x must be greater than a half or equal to 3. This will go on and join up with a 3.
and that's our solution.